where I'm at. I am actually in a church. This church has a 90 foot range from the front to the back. And I thought it would be a perfect place to test the distance. So I don't have a whole 160 feet. But, uh, you know, let's say you're in a church and you need to broadcast the, the sermon or the worship service to another room in the building. Let's say like the nursery. Let's give that a try, shall we? So first, let's look at the product itself and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like and what's included in the box. When you open up your new Micus 2.0 receiver transmitter, you're going to get all of these great accessories. Right here, you have a USB cable. You'll connect that to the charger and then hook that cable to the back of the unit to power it. You'll also get an antenna as well as an optical audio cable. The unit itself is in a very stylish case. It looks very, very nice and professional. It uh, almost looks like something you'd buy from a music store, like some kind of a music adapter, receiver, that sort of thing. It has a very nice, smooth finish has a, uh, a button on the front here for both powering and pairing. You have a channel one and a channel two indicator here. You have an optical and a three and a half millimeter indicator right there. There's the bottom of the unit. On the back here, you have a three and a half millimeter out and in. You have an optical out and in. Your power connector goes here. You've got a uh, connector here for your antenna and as well as a switch to tell it receive or transmit. So my goal here is to connect this receiver transmitter to this church sound system and allow you to hear powerful audio as it's paired from an iPhone and then played through the church sound system and speakers. So let's get our first test started. All right, as you can see here, I have the iPhone connected to my Micah's home unit. And you can see the units here. It's all powered up and ready to go. I have the unit's audio output running into this soundboard here. And then that soundboard is connected to these two powerful amplifiers right here. Actually, the one we'll be listening to is this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the RCA Selectivision Fanfare from this phone and I'm going to take the phone and we're going to walk it up as far as we can go down this sanctuary to the very end and see if we can get a nice clear signal out of it. All right, you ready? Here we go. Okay, I've stepped out of the sound booth. You can see the mic is sitting right there on the ledge next to this camera. So let's go ahead and walk up to the front. Just to give you an idea of the distance here that we're going to transmit to from my iPhone to that unit. The speakers that we're going to be listening to are up here just atop of that projector. You can see the main speaker right there and there's some subs over here on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and walk up onto the platform here and then we'll go ahead and look back to the back back there just so you can see how far away we are. And yes that is my wife sitting there. I won't uh, make her get on the camera here. All right, so now I'm going to go to my iPhone and let's go ahead and play a little bit of a YouTube video that I've already got queued up here. The RCA. Whoa, not that one. Here we go. So there you go, guys. We're almost 90 feet from the unit right now. I am literally standing right next to this white wall. See, there's my shadow with my headset on. Ah, the RCA guy's coming back to kill me. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other test. The other test is, I'm gonna step off this platform here. I have a Bluetooth speaker right here, and I'm going to set this Bluetooth speaker over here, and then I'm gonna transmit a signal all the way from the back to this Bluetooth speaker. Many of you have seen this on my channel. I use it all the time, love this thing. So let's go ahead and transmit an audio signal from back there from the church sound system to this tiny speaker through our micus. Here we go. Okay, for this test, I have the 
iPhone connected to a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. That audio cable runs into this sound system. It comes in through this input here called box. This is the box that it's connected to. And then from out of the box, it goes into a headphone jack as a monitor. And then from this wire, we're going from the headphone jack of the sound mixer into the micus. So I've got the micus paired to my Bluetooth speaker, which you can barely see. I'm going to put my camera so it's directly in the center of the screen. So it's on a stool all the way up front. All right. Now, of course, it lights up when it gets a signal. So let's go ahead and play one of my videos. Uh, this one is called Cutting a Record onto an RCA Select Division Disc. So I have it running here, playing here on the phone. So you can barely see the thing lighting up in the middle of your screen, probably just lighting up a couple pixels. So we're broadcasting about 90 feet up to the front of the church from the micus, which is sitting here on this tripod just because of the distance of the audio cable I had to hook to it. So now let's go up front and just hear how the sound sounds. Okay. So again, from an iPhone through a sound mixer from the sound mixer to the micus and let's hear what the sound quality sounds like way up front up here. It's weird seeing my voice coming through this box up at the front. Now I do have a uh, charger cable connected to it, so you can see that. So there is no other wire running to it except for the charger because it told me it was the battery was running low. So let's listen to the sound quality up close. And we're going to use that because it records at 78 RPM and it's got a gigantic motor on the bottom. The amazing thing is that it's 70 years old or somewhere in that vicinity and it still has the ability to to turn this turntable without a lot of modification so i've taken the record cutting head out of my original montgomery ward unit and put it into this new unit here so the re re uh, the recording head is underneath here well, guys, I want to thank you for watching this review of the Micus 2.0. I'm sure you've never seen a demonstration like this, but then again, you've probably not seen a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver quite like this one either. If you'd like, go back into my uh, archives and watch the 1.0 review of the Micus, and you can see how how much better I've gotten my reviewing, but you can also see how much better this product has improved its styling as well as its capabilities. So again, pick one of these up and get your music wherever you want it. Get your gaming audio wherever you want it in the house using the Micus. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Share it with somebody who might also be interested in it. And also leave a comment below and click that like button. And we will see you guys next time.